Now at five, a Coral Springs school resource officer is under arrest. He's facing two charges for solicitation of a minor to engage in sexual conduct. Stephen Joseph Daniello appeared before a judge today. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has the serious charges he's now facing. Count one is solicitation of a minor to engage in sexual conduct. Coral Springs police officer Stephen Daniello faces a judge. He's a school resource officer at Westchester Elementary School in Coral Springs. The 63-year-old is accused of soliciting a 15-year-old girl for sex. It's very unsettling because, I mean, you're supposed to trust, you know, your, your officers here and, you know, taking care of your children in the school. The arrest stunned many parents whose kids knew him. It's pretty sad. My daughters know him that go here very well, and they actually had his wife as a teacher. She's a teacher here. Investigators say in September, Daniello tried to lure a teen online who had been a longtime family friend. What went from asking about her day at school started going into wanting photos of her. He offered to pay her for nude photos. Lieutenant Andrea Tianga explains that's not where it ended. And then the conversation escalated even more. There was supposed to be an upcoming trip with the families where they spoke about breaking off and possibly engaging in sexual activity. It was the teen's parents who eventually realized that this was unfolding. These parents went through their daughter's cell phone and found these suspicious conversations and came straight to us. If your children think that you're nosy and intrusive, you're probably doing a fantastic job. He's been a law enforcement officer in Broward County for over three decades. Uh, obviously inherent in that is that he has no prior criminal history whatsoever. He's been married for 29 years. Daniela's attorney tried to get a reduced bond. The judge set it at $60,000. Meanwhile, Coral Springs police are recommending that he be fired immediately. As part of his release, Daniela cannot have any contact with the victim or the victim's family, cannot go online, and must turn in his passport. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.